Hello Internet, Internet. Big Dave here, and I am Chief. Hello Internet, it's Big Dave here, and I would like to welcome you back to my ongoing series on free, independent games. This time around, we got a very special show because it's going to be all about saying happy birthday to one of my favorite independent developers, Vlambeer. Today, September 1st, 2013, Vlambeer turns three years old, and what a prolific studio they have been for the last three years. Super Crate Box, Luft Rousers, Random Encounter, that's Serious Sam, the Random Encounter, and several other notable games, Ridiculous Fishing amongst them, that uh, really have caught a lot of attention, a lot of controversy for these guys over the last three years, but happy birthday nonetheless to one of my favorite developers. And these guys, I'm going to tell you, know how to do birthdays right, because they're actually giving us the presents. Okay, if you want to get one of these presents, head over to vlambeer.com slash three. That's the number three, not the word three. And you can check out all the special gifts they're offering to us, their loyal fans. Now, there are several great things on offer. There's a pre-order for their upcoming art book, which I'm sure is going to be mind-blowing, as well as a thousand free copies of their Vlambeer original soundtrack containing music from all their great games. But we're going to focus in on one thing, and that's the previously unreleased or previously released in limited scope game, Gun Gods. It's available for free right now. Gun Gods was made available during the Kickstarter period of Brandon Boyer's Venus Patrol website, and prior to this, it was the only way to get that game. Vlambeer describes Gun Gods as a small roguelike that eventually evolved into a not-so-small first-person shooter about gangster rap on Venus. Yeah, that sounds nuts, and the game is nuts, so let's go ahead and take a look at it. Now, I know we normally look with our eyes, but before we start, let's actually look with our ears as we listen to the amazing main title theme that sets the mood. This is a great space gangster rap about guns and all that they can do. So take about 30 seconds and just listen to this. Now, while I would be content to sit and listen to this for the rest of the video, you guys probably want to see the game, so let's go ahead and jump in. You're going to see some footage of me playing through the game earlier today, and I will warn you ahead of time, you're going to see some weird slowdowns. This is Fraps, this is not the game. The game plays amazingly when you're not recording it. It's super fast and speedy like a Rise of the Triad or something, you know, pick an old school game that used the Wolfenstein engine way back in the day, and there you go. You've got exactly what this game feels like. There's no vertical movement to the gun. It's all horizontal. It's great, it's wonderful. I mean, I, I can't, I'm gonna run out of words. I'm gonna probably say wonderful 10 times for this game. Uh, so the art style, first of all, I wanna hit that because it's the most obvious thing that's glaring right in your face amazing art by Paul Veer. He's done so much, really, over the years to, to form the basis of what we think of as a Vlambeer game, and I really, really love his art. Uh, always, every time, it's aces. Aces? Do people say that anymore? I don't know, but I just said it, and that's how I'm describing the art, because I love it. Now, on these free independent game videos, I don't go a long way to critique the game, because, hell, the game's free. I mean, I don't want to be one of those people who's like, well, you should just like it because it's free and forget about how bad it is. I mean, obviously, even free things should stand up to criticism, but I really don't have a lot of critiques to offer to this game because not only is it free, it's also great. Now, while I could probably continue for the next couple of minutes with the hard-hitting analysis that this game is great and wonderful and aces, I suppose we should talk a little bit about the particulars of the game. So first up, let's talk about controls. In my opinion, the controls are just right. The speed of the mouse is exactly what I would expect from the speed of the movement in the game. Now, I would encourage you to check out the README if things feel a little off for you, because there is a way to change the mouse sensitivity. I think it was 8 and 9 or 9 and 0. I can't remember exactly because I didn't need it. But check the README if the mouse controls feel a little bit off for you. There are no options. The game is extremely bare bones. But check that out if you need a little help with figuring out the controls. Other than that, the controls are exactly what you would expect. One thing I will say is don't forget that the right mouse button shivs people because some of the most fun I had in this game was walking around an early level shivving the hell out of like 10 guys in a room. It was absolutely spectacular and I would encourage you to get out there and poke some folks. 
and you'll actually have ample time to poke some folks because the game is actually pretty long. I was surprised by the length of it. Uh, there's about 12 levels in the main campaign. It's separated into four areas. Each area is a unique tile set. It has three levels per area. And then each area also has a bonus level. Now the one bonus level I'll tell you about is the one of the first area. What you actually do is you jump to the level, you get a shotgun with exactly enough ammo to make it through the level. Then they give you a series of doors and those doors contain enemies, or maybe they don't. And it kind of tests your ability to restrain yourself because these enemies are gonna charge you and you've only got one health. So if they so much as breathe on you, you're pretty much dead. It was really challenging and it was a nice change of pace from the rest of the running around and never knowing where an enemy was gonna appear kind of thing. You knew exactly where the enemy was gonna be or you knew where the enemy might be because if you chose to shoot at a time when there was no enemy behind a door, well, you were screwed because then you didn't have enough ammo to make it through the rest of the level. Now I could probably gush about this game for another five minutes, but really if I haven't convinced you by now that the game's at least worth trying, well, there's nothing that's gonna come out of my mouth that's gonna change your mind. I think this game is absolutely solid. It's a wonderful time. The graphics, again, aces, and I really, really enjoyed myself. I'm glad this game is finally officially out there in the wild for players to enjoy, and I hope that everybody will at least give it a try. So once again, happy birthday to Vlambeer. A side note, my kid just turned three as well, so if you guys want to set up a play date, he's got some trains I think you will absolutely love. Thank you so much for watching another installment in my series on free independent games. I have been Big Dave, and until next time, take it easy.